XAPN tonight, as you may know, the city of Los Angeles says it will no longer do business with the state of Arizona because of the illegal alien controversy. Well, now the man in charge of regulating Arizona utilities, which also supplies power to Los Angeles, says he may pull a plug if the city of Angels continues its boycott. Gary Pierce says he's furious, putting Los Angeles in a very tough spot. Joining us now from L.A., John Phillips, radio talk show host on KBC Radio, and from Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Barry Young, who hosts a show on KFYI. All right, Mr. Young, start with you. Is this just bluster, or will a guy pull the plug? Well, I don't think he'll pull the plug, Bill, but I think he wrote the letter to make a point. And the point is that boycotts are bad business. And if it's bad business, it's bad for America. The boycott idea from Los Angeles. Uh, no one really in Phoenix is taking it all that seriously. They're, they were talking about $52 million in contracts in play. But after you're all is said and done, you know, we've got these power contracts, we have water contracts, or they have those contracts with us. Only really six or seven million dollars is, is, is up for grabs here. And, you know, I drove to the studio here to do this program with you today. Business is booming. People are moving. Nobody's being affected by it. It's all talk. So the idea of sending the letter was to send a message that it's silly. I think a lot of people in Arizona might want to go over and, you know, Flick the lights on Los Angeles. Well, that's what I'm going to say. I mean, look, this off. is a very passionate and emotional issue, Mr. Phillips. And uh, people in Arizona do not appreciate, and I can tell you by my mail, I know that. Los Angeles, Denver, Colorado, school district in Chicago, Austin, Texas, saying, hey, we're not going to, we're going to try to punish you because of your law. 71% in the latest poll, Rasmussen poll, 71% of Arizonans support the law. And I don't blame them for saying, hey, you want a little payback? We give you 25% of your energy. You keep pushing us, you might be in trouble. So I think that this Pierce guy, I don't know if it's just symbolic. I think there might be some anger behind it. What do you think, Mr. Phillips? You know, Bill, I'm a fourth generation Angelino, and I would love to see the state of Arizona pull the energy plug on Los Angeles like they're. <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to go on the radio. The KBC What's be that? dark. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We still wouldn't be as dim as the mayor and the city council, though. <laughs> and this is all Jesus. politics. That's what it is. It's all politics because politics. The, the city council and the mayor want to be talking about everything else other than the fact that they've bankrupted the city. The only school system on the planet that's worse than L.A. Unified is possibly the Taliban bomb-making school in Afghanistan. And they've ruined everything that we have here. So, of course, they want to talk about something that they have no control over. But, but it, it is true that Los Angeles now is a largely Hispanic city, Mr. Phillips, is it not? And the Hispanic people, I think a lot of them support this Arizona law. Myself, the numbers are just huge. But uh, they're playing to their, their base. Villa La Grossa, that's how you say his name, right? Villa La Grossa? Villa La Villa Villa Grossa. Okay. Uh, Villa Grossa. He's playing, playing to his base. He's hot dogging it, is he not? Right. And Janice Hahn, who is the councilwoman who wrote the initiative, is running for lieutenant governor in a primary against Gavin Newsom, who's the mayor of San Francisco. So she's trying to get to the left of him. And I think, in fact, she's gotten so far to the left that she's now in Japan. And it's quite it's funny to me that one uh, 25 percent of the energy that we consume here in Los Angeles comes from the state of Arizona. So that means that one out of every four times that Janice Hahn goes in for electroshock therapy to zap the crazy out of her, it's coming from Arizona. Yeah, but that might just make her, uh, I don't know. I don't know the woman. I'm not gonna... Now, um, uh, Mr. Young, 71 uh, percent, as I said, of Arizonans, that, that's got to include a lot of Hispanics living, Hispanic Americans living in Arizona among that number has to well in the last uh, bill in the last few years we've had ballot propositions in arizona we're a ballot proposition initiative state we've had ballot propositions to uh, for example no bail for for felons if you're not a citizen uh, you you can't just run off to mexico the the hispanic population in all three of these important ballot proposition issues the voting hispanic population voted the majority in favor of these things. I think they're embarrassed by what they see going on with the open border crowd. The open border crowd is its own worst PR nightmare. All right, well, I wish somebody would do a poll on Hispanic Americans, not only in Arizona, but across the country, and see about this poll. So I'm gonna to try to get Fox News to do that poll. Gentlemen, we appreciate the conversation, thank you. Plenty more ahead as a factor moves along this evening, a big dog at home.